Thank you. Welcome to the show, James. Thank you. Are you a quizzer? Uh, I'd like to think so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Excellent stuff. All right. What do you do for a living? I'm an implementation consultant. I bet you are. And what do you do in your relaxation time? I'm a qualified basketball referee, so I enjoy refereeing in my local league in the West Midlands. Excellent stuff. Did you play basketball? I did. Yeah, I used to. Not as well as I thought I could, uh, hence now refereeing. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's but yeah. brilliant. I believe every sport, the refs should have been ex-players. I actually believe that. You should take it up. Yeah, I, I think should. I'd still be playing basketball if I was playing against Brad, so... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't need to have refereed. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Uh, if you were to win some money tonight, what would you do with it? My wife and I are very big uh, theatre fans. Um, cool. So we'd love to be able to go to New York, see Hamilton. Yeah. It's our favourite show. On Broadway? Absolutely, yeah. Magnificent. What a great choice. Yeah, sensational. All you've got to do is take on this lot and get away with some money. What's your wife's name? Jen. Right, let's get you and Jen to Broadway. Five multiple choice questions. Each correct answer is worth £1,000. Get the first one wrong and you're out. Good luck. Let's play. Here's your question. In Irish folklore, which fairy takes the form of a tiny old man, often with a cocked hat and leather apron? A. Banshee. B. Kelpie. C. Leprechaun. I'm gonna go with C. Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Is that the right answer? <laughs> £1,000 we're taking on the chasers. Governess. Yes, um, Kelpies are technically Scottish. They are mystical beings that take the form of horses. Oh, OK. But Banshees are Irish and they're supposed to um, wail if someone yeah. in the house is about to die. Right. My family in County Leash had a Banshee that lived in the apple tree. Of course. And um, somebody one day chopped the apple tree down and Banshee was simply furious. I bet. She flew three times around the farmhouse and then perched on the top of the farmhouse and announced that within three generations there wouldn't be any of us left in Ireland. Right. And there aren't because we all went somewhere else. Yeah. My family, Ireland, fled to England. After my grandmother, my great great grandmother, ran round the Hegarty's house like a mad woman <laughs> after falling out of an apple tree. <laughs> I'd just say these actually weren't the Hegarty's, this was the Britons. Yeah, exactly. Even more bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's your next question. What term refers to a legal counsel of the king or queen? A would be silk, C cotton. OK, what do you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to go B, silk. Got it. Is that the right answer? Silk, you've put. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two grand. OK, all right, here's the next question. Which sporting film was released in Norway under a title meaning cold buttocks? <laughs> a, Eddie the Eagle. B, Cool Runnings. C, Blades of Glory. What do you reckon? Uh, I'm going C, Blades of Glory. Really? Yeah, it's a comedy film, it's a comedy title. OK, is that the right answer? <laughs> no! <laughs> Gotta be sitting down on the ice, surely. Correct answer will be... <laughs> cool runnings all day long, fixin'. The buttocks would be very close to the ice if you were doing a bobsled. Well, look, two questions, right? £2,000. What that means is it's time to face the chasers. <laughs> Put some time on the clock. 60 seconds on each one. There you go. Now, the chasers are going to make you offers of a time advantage and money. And based on those offers, you choose how many you want to take on. If you want to play for the two grand you want in the cash builder, you'll take on two chasers automatically. And those two chasers are. It's the governor and the beast. OK, beastie, time advantage, please. Come on, be kind. We want 45 seconds on what? the clock. <laughs> I've got two in the cash builder. 15 seconds time advantage. Come on. Three chasers. Who's the third one, please? OK, Vixen, go ahead. Be kind. We want 45 seconds on our clock. Uh-huh. You'll be playing three of us for £5,000. You've got to... Nutter. It's fair. It's not fair at all. <laughs> three grand increment. You wanted a seven or eight grand mm. at least. If you want to take on four chasers, who's the fourth chaser, please? <laughs> OK, menace. Come on. Well, James, we still want 45 seconds on our clock. Oh, here we go, here we go. 
but this time you will be playing for 20,000. Yes! 45 seconds, brilliant, 20 grand. Now we're talking. All right, full house, here we go. Dark Destroyer, come on. I'm going to really keep it simple. We still want 45 seconds Get on the in. clock. Come on. And for that, we're going to offer 50. 50,000 pounds. So 30,000 pounds to play Sean. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. 30 grand to play Sean. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna go for it, but I think Really? I, I think I can beat all five. You do? Yeah, I think. Oh, brilliant! Brilliant! Now then, 15 second time advantage, James Tremendous. 50 grand against the Fab Five. Full house. You ready? I'm ready. Let's see if we can beat the chasers. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this, I've got to say. Your clock will start counting down when I ask you the first question. Get it right, your clock will stop. Where I go across to the chasers and their clock will start. I'll ask them a question, they get it right, it stops, I come back to you and so on and so on. However, if I ask you a question and you get it wrong, I stay with you until you get a question right. And the same, of course, goes with the chasers. If you run out of time before the chasers, you go home with nothing. If they run out of time before you, you go home with 50 grand. All right, I wish you luck. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. James, your clock starts counting down. Now, a fuse box has switches for what form of power? Electricity. Correct, Chasers. Which DC Comics heroine is known as the Amazing Amazon? Mark. Wonder Woman. Correct, James. What form of transport is a super jumbo? Uh, airplane. Correct, Chasers. Who played Esther Smith in the film Meet Me in St. Louis? Jenny. Judy Garland. Correct, James. What juice gives a sea breeze cocktail its red colour? Cranberry juice. Oh, correct. Chasers. Bishop Odo of Bayeux fought in what 1066? Sarah. Battle of Hastings. Correct. James. The band, the Human League, was formed in what city? Liverpool. Sheffield. Mount Cook appears on what country's $5 note? Australia. New Zealand. In The Wizard of Oz, who's the niece of M and Henry? Uh, Dorothy. Correct. Chasers. Keir Starmer's parliamentary seat is in what city? Jenny. London. Correct. James. In science, if a base dissolves in water, it's called a what? Alkali. Correct. Chasers. On what surface is a pedalo used? Jenny. Water. Correct. James. Lady Daphne Browning was the married name of which author? Pass. Daphne du Maurier. In what country was paper invented? Egypt. China. In the Jim Carrey film, what colour is the face of the mask? Uh, green. Correct. Chasers. Which comedian wrote the children's book Little Monsters? Mark. David Walliams. Correct. James. The dance known as voguing began in what US city? Los Angeles. New York. What part of a car may contain a pad and a disc? Uh, brakes. Correct. Chasers. Which rapper won nine Billboard Music Awards in 2020? Jenny. Drake. It's Post Malone. Which Oscar-winning US actress stars in the rom-com Hampstead? Jenny. Judy Dench. It's Diane Keaton. A hind is the female Mark. of what mammal? Deer. Correct. James, which Stuart monarch died in 1714? Henry VIII. Anne. Colby Jackson, Miss of Colby, and what other cheese? One second left. That's very close. Wow. <sighs> Great answer. Last knock-ins. Yeah. Great Good answer. Reaction, that. But I've got to say, valiant effort. Thank uh... you. It's not often I'll say this, but I feel really guilty because we won by a fraction of a second. Yeah. So I'll say chapeau, sir. Well played. Well played. Yeah, well played. Well played. <laughs> That's the way it is. The money's gone, but a valiant effort. James, bad luck, but you've been beaten by the chasers. Give it up for James. Chasers. <laughs> Very well played. Well done, guys. Bad luck.